Oh, hello. Jacob from the Yes I Have Some podcast. Welcome to my crib. Welcome to Jake's crib. You guys ever actually watch cribs? Somebody would be like, I only eat star kiss tuna fish and they would open their refrigerator and it would just be completely nothing but you know those celebrities yeah with tuna with all their tuna but then like and then you see their personal chef where's your personal out. shelf shelf my personal shelf <laughs> where's your tuna <laughs> shelf <laughs> technically it's the dining room um but i don't need that so i think it's i think it's probably safe to call it a media room or something i have a every uh, <laughs> hey every dining room has a vhs i kind of yeah. well, this way i kind of my goal is to kind of make this room look like a video store at some point uh multiple uh, vcrs here uh, toys r us um buggies that i liberated nice um you freed them i got you a couple do, of them you they're, do they're, the lord's work all you walk place. right out with that i, I like just, it i grabbed it and i took off give me the highlights of the stephen king room here it's probably the stephen king autograph mm -hmm. uh you know that and uh who gave that to you jake uh we went down to sarasota florida for a stephen king owen king signing at the public library down there and then we went and listened to him talk it was amazing i got the the cemetery dance shining which is a very fun special edition that also has a remark from the artist that we found at a we found a dragon con oh tight this is my living room where i lay around this is where i record the podcast and uh, oh, this is a telephone okay. oh, got the little keys under here jurassic park what do you want <laughs> this is my best friend we hang out, we talk, we have a lot of very serious, long conversations together. I can lonely, tell you're you know. friends by your body language. He's we're, like leaning into you. We're friends. He's a good guy. We're friends. That's the cardboard display from uh, from Target, from when Jurassic World... I think it's from when Fallen Kingdom hey, came out. Hey, is this another item that you liberated? <laughs> <laughs> we freed it. One of my clients... Um, works at Target, and we we got into his a, name's Dennis Nedry. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody need anything? So should I not disturb, or should I disturb? I should probably come up with a name for we it. We need a better the name. The toy room. room. Everybody has a toy room. New and, and kind of just I my feel life. Like Jillian in general. Michaels. Yeah. It's kind of like. <laughs> I want some shots of me training Jake for like, you know. Don't oh, jump in. Jake, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. You can't. You... Jake is resetting up his uh, Congo figures now. And what you can't tell is that he's very upset. <laughs> you what, can kind of tell. Well, no, well, you can kind of tell. What's going through his head right now is, you know, they never really come down here. And now I'm in the toy room and shit's falling over. I just need him out. Get out. All right, what are the lessons learned here? No dancing. Don't dance in the toy room. <laughs> Don't dance in the toy room. That's a t-shirt. Uh, some lobby cards from various uh, Godzilla films. Uh, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, Godzilla vs. Megalon, Godzilla 1985 were the bottom two. Um, I found those. I think I found those Dragon Con. There's a King Ghidorah back there. Yeah. Little Space Godzilla. I can't, I'm not going to go through and name every single one of them because we'll be They're mostly called Godzilla. But they're mostly yeah. Godzilla variations. A lot of this stuff is uh, the old Trendmasters line. So back when all the, the Trendmaster Godzilla stuff was happening, something that I... <laughs> it's so scary. Uh, Hold your breath. Something that I really like... Abby, did you ever have like a little Giga Pet? Yes! I dropped it in the bathtub and like there was a huge ordeal where my dad had to take me out immediately to a Toys R Us to get a new one. <laughs> well, there was I a, cried so hard. There was a Godzilla Giga Pet. Oh, that's so or cute. Or Nano Pet, whatever you call it. Either Tamagotchi. Look, look at that shit. That's adorable. I wish it still worked. It probably does if the bat, if I had some, uh, some working batteries maybe. Yeah, that's cool. Is this Rodan? See that one. <laughs> Actually, this one looks like a little stockier than the Is one that a I little have. Bigger? You might have the smaller. Like he's a little chonk. Sorry, I said Rodan was chonk. He's just swole. I didn't realize. Looks like he works out. Don't touch <laughs> <laughs> I like, feel bad about that. Sorry, Rodan. This moth right here. Yeah, oh, I, I don't even remember where I bought that. I've never taken it out of that box, but it's very cool. It, uh, I believe that's the Rainbow Mothra. For those who are unaware, that Mothra goes through very different 
uh, iterations. Yeah. Or different point. She she has her own trilogy of movies. Uh, yeah. It was called like the Rebirth of Mothra trilogy. And yeah. At some point. It's like when she remakes herself and she's like. Yeah. Ex-tina. At some point she's all like, like dirty. <laughs> okay. She's very colorful. It's like when um, Mothra gets a ombre. It's highlights. Yeah. She went to the salon. Yeah. She got her nails done. This I really love. It's like the the Mothra twins, but it's like a weird little. Uh, they're adorable. They're a lot less frightening than the twins from The Shining. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would play with these forever and ever and ever. Uh, okay. I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cool. They Trendmasters did this thing where it was like uh, the little play sets that kind of open up and. You remember these like micro, like micro machines? machines? Yeah, and like I, these pocket. these are actually the figures. Oh, Abigail. Okay. <laughs> you get no more tasks. Sorry, guys. It'll all make for a good. The toilet was too small. <laughs> for Raphael bust. I got this from the Devil's Latex. Uh, they do all sorts of, not just Ninja Turtles, but like horror. They did an It bust. Uh, I just thought that was a very good likeness. Yeah, there's a lot of character in it. You can see a lot in the face. It's. Nice. <laughs> Is this like how you're subdued now? Yeah, uh, yeah, I am. I am restraining myself right now. So this is gonna be me for the rest of the video. I just have a random assortment of turtle figures. I've never been super. I love Ninja Turtles, but I've never like really gone hard on collecting them. Because there's so many of there's them. There's just a lot. So I just have a couple random ones. I do want to try to start to collect the Cave Turtles, which I have the Michelangelo and then the complete, mm -hmm. you know, Leonardo. That there. makes sense. That Leonardo looks really good. And yeah. It, it's like it looks like it was created for you. Um, there's a lot of random stuff. One of the the giant uh, turtles from part three back there from the the movie turtles. Mm -hmm. Just some random like assortment of like merchandise and yeah. not just. The I love it. I, like I used to stuff. have these tissues, and I distinctly remember using them as pillows for my Ninja Turtles figures. I got those from you guys. I think. Yeah. I think you gave me those. You liberated them. Did I steal those? <laughs> <You're free. laughs> yeah. These are the Necro Gremlins. Um. I love Gremlins. Like I, when I was putting the shelf together, I, I feel like all of a sudden I realized how many Gremlins I had. Um, oh, he got a new Gremlin out of that shelf. I like this Gremlin shelf because it's got so much chaos and stuff going on. Yeah. Even though they're all set up, I love it. It makes sense. I wish I could. I, I tried to like position the back Gremlin to where he he was like up in the air, but you could see he slid. But he's mm. good. I, the Spider Gremlin's really fun. I just love all of these. This is the start of my Dino Riders collection. Um. This is the one, you know, we joked about on the show that there might be some sort of conspiracy that my mom maybe hid Dino Riders for me my whole life. When I started, you know, when our good friend JK started, you know, introducing me to more Dino Rider stuff and I started looking it up, I realized that this guy, this Gallimimus here, or it's not a, it's not a Gallimimus, but it looks like a Gallimimus. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a Dino Rider figure. And I've had that my whole life. That is a toy that I've had since my childhood, which makes me think, did I buy a Dino Rider? Did my mom <laughs> buy me the Dino Rider but take away all the extra stuff? Yeah. Did I just lose the extra stuff and not remember because I'm a dumb kid? Yeah. Dino yeah. Riders is like the Cadillac of toy collecting. Like, it's the kind of thing, maybe even better. Well, maybe think, like more vintage. I think Cadillacs and Dinosaurs is the Cadillac of <laughs> oh. dinosaur toys collecting. So, yeah, we got into some Beetlejuice stuff. I, I, I've recently decided that I think I want to collect this line. Uh, we got pretty lucky and found about half of it for sale at a toy show. Some of it I already owned. Um, I actually just bought this Otho at a place in Ocala, Florida last week. Um, I Vintage think Toy King. Vintage Toy King. Very cool place. Very nice dude. Um, I'm missing, I think I'm missing two figures to, to have the, the figure section complete. I mm -hmm. still need the, the bigger vehicle. I got the Phantom Flyer, but I don't have the car. Like what's that Oh, he like, here, we'll pull him out. My, my favorite thing, like the Beetlejuice figures stand pretty well. Um, this guy... He looks like, is he concealing something? He, he's definitely he, sagging. There we go. Oh, okay. He's like a vulture. He's a buzzard. That's tight. Yeah. I also really like Very the colors weird. on it. Yeah. Back there is the old NECA Beetlejuice they put out a while back, which open is kind it. of a... Open Well, it. I was going to open it. Do it now. I was gonna, Do it now. I was going to open it, but it kind of goes for a good bit of money. So I was like, I'll just keep it in the packaging. <laughs> The next section uh, begins part of the, the Jurassic Park section, which, you know, Jurassic Park is, it's one of the best movies ever made. It's one of the best franchises. Mm -hmm. It has some of the best toys, the best villains, monsters, everything about it. 
best play the best place that ever created mm-hmm. you're looking at yep <laughs> no you're not i mean you will be soon uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh sick burn uh, uh, so first of all, we have these uh, Rebor Studios Velociraptors, which I really love. They're not like, um, they're pretty, pretty cheap. They're pretty affordable. And they're not technically like allowed to call them Jurassic Park Velociraptors, but they are Jurassic Park style mm-hmm. Velociraptors. And, yeah. Uh, you know, their their mouths move. I just think they're very cool. Uh, right next to my Chronicle Collectibles Breakout Rex. One of my favorite things in this collection. I need more Chronicle collectibles immediately. We did an episode, yeah. if you if you haven't heard it, of the top five things we want for Christmas. Mm-hmm. We've done it the last two years. But the first year we did it, uh, I put the Jurassic Park compound on my list and then immediately turned around and bought it after we did the episode. Grant looks like Grant to me. Ellie is a little weird. Am I just now noticing that Ellie has a different hairstyle in her Series 2 figure than she does in her Series 1 figure? 100% her part's different. The second one, she looks more like Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she did like a blowout for the second one. Dennis Nedry looks nothing like Dennis Nedry. Dennis. Classic Dennis Nedry scuba gear. Moving down here. Cool. So as we come down, we just we start reaching. We got a Jurassic Park bubble bath back there. Um, there's an in-packaged Alan Grant. Uh, more of the dinosaurs. Uh, we got the walkie-talkies. We got the lunchbox. We got one of the McDonald's cups. We got some French Jurassic Park French fry uh, la. holders that were never used. We have map to the park. Well, that's cool. Look at that. Where'd that come from? <laughs> This came from our good friend AJ Quick. Tight. AJ, please send us one of these. I want one. Thank you. Just follow the pipes. Just look at the pipes. Follow all the way down to. Is that what he says? What is the? What's the line? Bateman, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> it's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. Little Jello molds. Uh, you know, two ninety nine when those uh, were originally released as, as if anybody cares about that but this is I the best thing prehistoric pudding first of all i want to point this thing out because it's one of my favorite things it's the watch mobile that used to hang in uh burger king when god that's Falls minty yeah it's in very good condition yeah you can see it has an impossible whopper on it <laughs> I tried to get one of those last night. <laughs> the vegan displays pictures of meat. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Bull Rex from Lost World. This was the weird repaint version that they put out a little later. You can see we got the Jurassic Park mm-hmm. board game hidden oh, over here. Oh, I've never seen that. That's cool. Can it's got some. It's got some pretty good art on it. That's tight. Why is the box so big? That's bigger than any it's board game. Hu- it's very big. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's a game 65 million years in the making. Yeah. Craig's mad at me for not pointing out the firehouse. Point right. out the this is the firehouse with the sign. It doesn't need to be pointed with... out. <laughs> now Craig's knocking shit over. It's not me. With the containment unit. Got the full thing. Uh, yeah, it's just my firehouse, man. I mean... Uh, Everyone's got one. I, I had my childhood firehouse for a very long time. And mm-hmm. it got ruined as it does. This one I found at a at a flea market for a pretty good price. Okay, you, okay. you need me to all prove right. it. I get you it. need me to prove it. I want it's it all there. Yeah. Okay. Get you someone it's who there. has both containment units. Okay. <laughs> you, you got it. Yeah. You got it. Cool. Just go to the most important set in the entire toy room. <laughs> the bootleg Legos. Yeah. Uh, I found this proton pack. It is ninety nine percent complete. It looks like no one's ever touched it. Everything is still in there. The little card hasn't been written on. None of it. It's all like in perfect condition. This is wow factor territory, y'all. Look at that. It's beautiful. That's a pristine box. It's a right very there. good yeah, condition. Dude. It's got all of the Ghostbusters on it. Egon, Aaron, Patty. Tight. This is a, a Look at proton this. stream. This has never been played with. Look at God. it. Look how good of condition as, it, as a toy should be. Never played with. Perfect condition. Beautiful. Look at this. I'm sure these things get all bent and weird. They end up in weird places. I'd put this in the toilet if I were a kid. <laughs> wow. That, oh, what is that? A the wristwatch or a belt? For a very band. small child. That's cool. Okay. 
It's so tiny. Anybody see any tiny ghosts? We got the Maddie Collector Stay Puffed here. I remember being super excited for this thing, and then I remember um, when it came in. I have never taken it out of this packaging. I still got the box somewhere, but mine is, it's doing okay. It's mm -hmm. got a little bit of yellowing yeah, happening. Just a little bit of yellowing. But it's not too bad. You're doing better than a lot of people. A lot of people's don't exist anymore. Yeah. The thing I like about this is the uh, way that he's restrained reminds me of how I should be when I'm brought into a toy room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It also but, looks like maybe they it was like on King Kong and like it's that like they went to Stay Puffs Island and captured him and put him on, yes, <laughs> put yes. him on boat. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah, so if you look in here you can see lined on the top and row top and bottom row <laughs> all the way across Maddie Collector figures. Uh, I was a part of the subscription service Hang up at big lots the oh, 12 inch yeah, yeah yeah for sure some of these Maddie Collector figures came from big lots. Yeah. Um, the the 12 inch uh, sets I bought from Big Lots and a couple of the uh, you can see on the rookie here he's got a Big Lots tag. I got these from uh, I'm pretty sure I bought these from Bobby 80s and they're just uh, I think they are a UK thing. They're Ghostbusters 2 birthday cards but what's weird to me is that they're specifically by age. Like this one says I am 4. The other one says I am 10. Um, I'm not sure how many of them they did. I would love to have a full set, but it's just a birthday card and a button. Oh, you have to warn people that there's a strobe effect in this video. He ties it to the barrel and jaws before. I like it. You're just sitting inside of your barrel. Can you open your barrel? There's not, you can't, there's not, there's not like a top thing. Yeah. Can someone get in there? That's the other thing. <laughs> I thought, what I, I thought that the whole top what like, did you think? screwed up. I thought I could maybe get inside of that and then like pop out. No, it's like this. I mean, this is probably uh, this is probably my favorite thing in the collection. It's not the actual barrel. This barrel is not in the movie, mm -hmm. but it is a production used barrel. Mm -hmm. When they filmed Jaws, they had a a good number of these laying around, and they used them to float the shark. Mm -hmm. back and forth where they needed it to mm -hmm. go and they also used it to float the orca too because there were two orcas there was the actual boat and then there was the orca that was rigged to sink touch dude richard dreyfus probably tried to open this from the top <laughs> like i did also we have uh this is the store display from when sperry did their jaw shoes uh that still has some shoes on it this was also a display. This is a little quint here. Um, I don't know if you remember, but McFarlane had the Movie Maniac series. I don't know what year they started those. 15, years ago. 15 20, 30, 45 years ago, maybe. The Orca, uh, obviously this is kind of like a reproduction of the stern of the boat. And uh, a good friend of the podcast, Hal Clay, made this for me for my birthday one year. This, this Jaws Fest tribute banner. Um, Jaws Fest was held on Martha's Vineyard where Jaws was filmed. Uh, film? What do you mean? It's a documentary. It's a documentary. Well, yeah. they still had to film what was oh, happening. Oh, right. That's so. how they did okay. documentary. Martha's Vineyard uh, uh, is where it happened, and a lot of the cast and crew still live there. There was a big convention. Um, this shark is from a company called Shark City Ozark. Um, it's just like a small family-owned business, and they, they do replicas of jaw sharks. That is from them. This open-sided shark up here is also from them. That is... Uh, some people don't know there were three sharks and uh you know the left side of one was open and you can see all the mechanics and they used to film the other side of it the so anatomy of a regular were... shark <laughs> <laughs> that's what a real life shark looks like well, on the inside know. if you cut it open a lot of wires there's a lot of wires in there They're, they they don't have the right side of their bodies a friend of mine patrick delaney sculpted this guy and i was supposed to paint it I was also supposed to paint this one, and I just never did. So. They're kind of time. I like them. Like yeah, they're yeah, cool, they're, but they one, one of these days I'll get around to painting those. Oh, you got the beer can? Mm -hmm. We got the beer can. Leah Thompson. Leah right? Thompson, yeah. Classic. We, where did we meet her? We met Leah Thompson at a convention. Fanboy Expo. Fanboy, Fanboy Expo. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably, I don't know if I'm probably the only person to walk up to her with a Jaws 3D card and have her sign it. Um, but yeah, it's my Leah Thompson. I love that picture. A bunch of photographs that were... Um, but I got from Tim Lawrence, who worked on Jaws 3, Jaws 4, 
uh, Ghostbusters 2. He was one of the Scolari brothers. Okay. And he took these photos on set. Oh, okay. They're all like, he was on the special effects crew. So these are all like set photos of effects and models. Oh my God. From Jaws I love 4. Holy um, shit. I have some from Jaws That's a tight 3 as picture. well. Yeah, there's some good stuff. There's the mold. Those are like moody pictures. There's some that are really cool of like the, the you can kind of see the boat piercing mm-hmm. the shark mm-hmm. here. These Jaws teeth are are. They're copies, but they're poured from the original mold of the of Bruce's teeth. They're numbered from the way they were in the front of his mouth. Um, this one signed by Richard Dreyfus here. I think one of my favorite things that we do is yes, have some. As far as like the fandoms that we enjoy and get into, is kind of like how we like to weasel our way into stuff. Yeah, like, and whether yourself. whether that's like you know being at a convention in an official capacity or getting to know people or whatever, mm-hmm. but. I kind of accidentally did that whenever I uh, wound up in the Jaws Fest book. Pan out. That's so funny. You guys want to look at these Jaws rings? Yes, these I, are really I cool. have some of these, but uh, these this is my favorite thing in your Jaws collection. This is your favorite thing? Yeah, I was obsessed with the 25 cent machine rings yeah. that you could get, and this is just like very exciting for me to see them all in the same place. It's kind of like the Infinity Gauntlet for Damn Jaws. It. Welcome to Storytime with Jacob Walsh in his very expensive fancy book. Uh, this is Jaws <laughs> Memories from Martha's Vineyard. This is a book that was made uh, a couple years back. It's pictures and photographs and stories by a lot of people who like lived on the island while they were filming. So it's just a lot of behind the, the scenes, background, that a lot kind of behind stuff. the scenes photos. That's cool. This is the special edition of the book, which came with a DVD. There was a woman who lived on the island who filmed just like with her own camera. Mm-hmm. So she had a, there was a woman who she had a recordable DVD player in 1977. <laughs> yep, 75. she filmed, um, and this has a DVD of just like her home movies, mm-hmm. and it also has a piece of the orca. This oh. is an actual piece. Uh, so one by one inch of uh, of the orca that sank. That's very cool. Yeah. You and got it, yeah. You got it, a lot of little pieces. It came the from the same. It came from the same person who. Uh, there, there's a family. There was a, a a husband and wife couple. It's called a school. It's a school. They bought what was left of the orca in the barrels, and they sold it all off. So. That's cool. There's a Richard Dreyfus here. There's a Carl Gottlieb, uh, Susan uh, Blackline, who you know played Chrissy. Yeah. Um, Edith Blake, who did a lot of. Uh, she wrote a book about the making of Jaws. She lived there. She did a lot of a lot of the stories in here. Mm-hmm. Joe Alves, who was the production designer on Jaws, and he directed Jaws three. This is one of the prized possessions, you yeah. know. Uh, and and there's on top of that, there's a lot of the photos in here. Mm-hmm. Um, you've only seen if you've looked through this book. You know, there's a lot of. It's just a lot of behind the scenes stuff. This has uh, some Ghostbuster stuff here. There's some Godzilla stuff. There's a little bit of Star. This is the. There's a little bit of everything. There's Congo stuff over here. There's King Kong. There's Planet of the Apes. Yeah. This is just kind of where everything gets put. That I, I'm not quite sure. You know, this is all very new. This corner Odds and of the room. Ends. Yeah. All very. It's all very nice stuff. Trying to make sure it still looks good. I want to still have it be like nice looking stuff. But mm-hmm. this is a lot of the uh, NECA. Godzilla stuff, and then partially some of the uh, 2014. I did buy all of the 2014 and the King of the Monsters stuff, but I don't really want to be opening it, and it doesn't display very, very well, so it's in a different... Um, it's in a different room right now. Is this Ant-Man? <laughs> okay. Whenever Jurassic World came out, they had a, you know the little book display at a Books a Million, and mm-hmm. I went in and I was like, hey, can I have that? <laughs> and they put my name on it and called me whenever they got mm-hmm. ready to throw it out. So I just put all my, uh, this is just assorted Jurassic Park books. There's Ooh. coloring books. There's the trace and color. There's the sticker fun. I got, I got it all, man. I got the Lost World. We have, what is this? We have greeting cards that are just not used. This is how I feel when I look at all Jake's toys. <laughs> yeah, okay. love it. Smile. <laughs> Look at that. That's There's cute. all kinds of just random Jurassic Park books mm-hmm. here. 
Look at that. I don't even know what some of this stuff yeah. is. A little Lost World. It's a little cutie. It's, I just yeah. like collecting Jurassic Park, and the best there's thing a about lot this, of books. Yeah. Junior novelization. Look at that. Yeah. Lots it's of good, good stuff pictures. In here. Yeah. Cool. It's just satisfying to look at. I can't dance too much. Thank you for looking at all my toys. Uh, I have spent a lot of time in here, and this is my this is my place. Mm -hmm. This is where I hang out. Sanctuary. This is what I obsess over. I've been working on this for a long time, and I was very I was very happy to show this off. I'm very proud of it. It looks great. Thank you. I'm glad that you uh, um, that you love it. And yeah. that you showed it to us today. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing you, my serious Abby you're voice? You're like a teacher, right? Yeah. Now.